Are you wanting to make your quilt larger but not quite sure how to do it? Well, our books show you how. Hi, it's Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe. And today we're gonna talk about enlarging your quilt. Now, we had a comment from Jen and she said, I would love to see a video with tips and tricks for enlarging my three yard patterns to twin or queen size. Well, Jen McGuire, we are gonna do that today. So let's take a look at a lap size first. Now this is our allure pattern from our magic book. Now the allure pattern here is made up in a lap size, which measures 41 inches by 59 inches. You know, that's a great size. I love that size for snuggling up on the couch on movie night, or maybe a cool night on the patio. These are perfect. And the other great thing about Allure I wanna mention is the fact that we have a nice block here that's bordered with our number three fabric. You can really show off something pretty here. This is gonna to go together super, super fast. It's also a great one to make bigger. So let's put it on the table and check that out. I love Allure because it's so simple to do. So as I mentioned before, we have this nice big block that's bordered with our number three, and we're gonna show you some fabric here in just a sec. And then we have an alternate block that's made very similarly, but with a little different measurement. So it's gonna go really fast and it's done with strip piecing. So Allure is a great pattern to start with if you're interested in doing enlargement. Now we have some amazing fabric here, so let's look at this. Is this not the cutest thing? We have all of these birds and tree branches and bird's nest on this beautiful light jade green. And this is a directional fabric, which works perfectly in Allure in this spot right here. It's gonna be so darling. And then our number two, now remember, take your focus out of the equation, compare the next two, and the lightest is your number two, your darkest is your number three. So we have our lightest is our jade green. It's gonna go everywhere that you see the cream here. And of course it works perfectly with our focus fabric. And then our number three fabric is this really pretty brown that picks up all the brown in the bird's nest and the pine cones and everything. That's gonna be the border on our focus block here, as well as the center of this. And these all just coordinate so well and it just looks so pretty. This fabric too is very cool because it kind of looks like a linen-y texture, even though it's not, it's the way it's printed. It's really gorgeous. Now, the kit information on these are gonna be in the description down below. If you don't see the information you're looking for, be sure to hit that show more so that you get the full description in the list of the kit information. Now, let's talk about enlarging our allure pattern here. So in our magic book, which is where the allure pattern is, um, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open it up and you wanna read the section in the very beginning and the tips and tricks on enlarging your quilt. These are very important instructions to cover before you start. It's gonna talk about your borders and your binding and your extensions and partials. So be sure to go through this and read that before you begin. Now let's flip over to our allure pattern. Now the basic instructions and the cutting instructions are for a lap size. If you move right over here, you see this box here? This is where your enlargement instructions are. And you can see here that they are broken out into twin and into the king queen. Here they're gonna show you the finished sizes of the quilt whenever you enlarge it to the twin or queen king, because every one is different, okay? It's gonna tell you how many blocks to make as well as what size borders to cut because your borders will be slightly different. Now, when we enlarge quilts, something that I know a few people have mentioned is we are not increasing the size of the block. What we're doing is we're adding additional blocks, either columns or rows, usually both, to increase the size. So this is where it's gonna tell you exactly what you need, how many extra blocks, and what size your borders and, and how many binding strips to cut. So this is really important, but don't forget to check on those basic instructions in the very beginning too. Now, if you're going to enlarge, for instance, our allure, and this is darling fabric, so if you're gonna wanna enlarge it to a twin or a queen king, what you're gonna do is you're gonna buy two kits for a twin, or you're gonna buy four kits for a queen king. Keeps it very simple so that you're gonna be able to have exactly enough fabric that you're gonna need and no stress, no worries, you've got it. So it's very, very simple. 
All right, now let's look at some images of the allure pattern made up. The first one that we're gonna see is the lap size image. And as you can see here, the lap pattern is made four blocks across and six rows down. So that's how many the lap size has. Now let's look at the twin size. The twin size has actually added some columns and some rows across the bottom. And what we have here is six blocks across and eight rows. So that's how we're enlarging it. And as you notice, you probably can tell that the borders are a little different size too. And remember, those border instructions are in the books under that enlargement instruction size. Now let's look at the Queen King, which it's just amazing. So here we have nine rows of 10 blocks across, and you can see how much bigger it gets, and it's really wonderful. Now this size quilt takes four kits. It's gonna go together easy because the allure pattern is so fast. I'm gonna show you some actual quilts, a lap size, a twin size, and a Queen King, so that you can see just how amazingly different these are. Here you can see our lap size of Allure that we've been talking about. It's 41 inches by 59 inches. I really think it's perfect. The other thing is, is these are good for wall hangings. I know in our offices here at Fabric Cafe, we have quite a few of them on the wall, and I really, really like having them. They're great art pieces. Now let's see what it looks like in a twin size model. You can see how much bigger it gets just by adding three extra yards of fabric. This twin model is our modern charm pattern and it comes out to about 66 inches by 84. The enlargement sizes will vary slightly from pattern to pattern, but they will all be close in size. So you can still get a good idea of what your allure would look like in a twin. Now let's see the lap next to the Queen King. As you can see, the size difference is striking. The pattern is our farmhouse chic and the Queen King topper will come out to be 99 inches by 90 and a half inches. Now let's look at all three of these together so that you can get a good idea of the size progression. It's just amazing. And this is the power of three yard quilts and how easy they are to enlarge. Now we're back in the studio to look at our next quilt. And this is Shadow Play and it's for our brand new book, Stash Busting with Three Yard Quilts. Now this is a great lap size. It is 41 by 63. And as you can see, this is a fun, fun pattern. We've got some nice big half square triangles here. We've got a neat border here that kind of gives it that shadow play look, which is kind of how it got its name there. And I love it because it's a great place that you can put fabulous fabric and it's gonna go together quick with these big half square triangles. So let's put it on the table and we have some great fabric. We've got some beautiful batik. Now as our focus here, we've got this purple with this great aqua bright blue here, which is fantastic. This is gonna go everywhere you see this print here and it's also on the border. Now our number two fabric is this nice warm kind of a beige and it's gonna go everywhere. You see the lighter green here, a little on the border on our alternate block and our half square triangle. And then our number three, which is our pop, our Shazam, you know how that goes. That is gonna go everywhere you see the purple here. And look how this blue picks up the blue in the focus fabric. It's just amazing. It's gonna really give you that extra little punch that the quilt is gonna really stand out with that. So it's super. Now don't forget, all of our kit information is down in the description box. Be sure to hit that show more button. Now, if you are not familiar with the book Stash Busting with Three Yard Quilts, make sure you go check out that video. We've got all of the quilts there so that you can see. And one more little plus on the Stash Busting book, which I love, is we show you how to use pre-cuts as substitutes in making your quilts. So that's gonna make enlarging shadow play so, so simple. So let's look at the quilt images of shadow play in this great fabric and all the different sizes. So the first one we have here is the lap size and you can see how great it looks in these fabrics. I just love it. Now this particular quilt is three blocks across and five blocks down. Now don't forget, we're not increasing the size of the block, so you're still gonna be able to use those great 10 inch layer cake pre-cuts and the jelly rolls and everything. It's gonna make it super fast to enlarge. Now let's look at the twin size in shadow play. 
what we've done here is we've added those blocks so we have six rows in each row we have five blocks each so that's going to increase it and don't forget our border sizes do change so be sure and reference those enlargement instructions so you can see it looks great in the twin size but drum roll we're going to look at it in the king size it is amazing i just love how fantastic this looks in this size what a great quilt pattern to enlarge so here we have seven rows with eight blocks each now this is really striking in this size i think it's just absolutely fabulous and i think it would look fantastic on anyone's queen king bed now this is our fascination quilt and as you can see by looking it's a little bit different than our others now the finished size of this lap quilt is 44 inches by 60 inches so it's a nice snuggle size like we've been talking about but as you can see this is a row quilt so we're going to do talk about enlarging a row quilt and how we do that but this is a great one because it's going to be really fast this is a great place for a really large print on your fabric so it's going to really show it off and it's really super simple to enlarge let's put it on the table so don't you just love this fabric that's in the fascination pattern <laughs> i love all these birds and sunflowers i think it's so great and as we mentioned at the quilt this is a very large print so it works perfectly in this strip right here as our focus fabric so you can really see all of those beautiful sunflowers and the birds and the bees and it's just so charming I love it now as our number two fabric we have this beautiful yellow that has the sunflowers on it and as you can see it's our border here as well as our star in our alternate block in our alternate row so very very sweet and then as our number three we have more sunflowers doesn't that look great together? I just love it. The number three is the center of our block as well as the outside edge of our star so that our star really pops and a nice border. So I really love these three fabrics together. I think it's really kind of a cozy feel. I like that. Now, our fascination quilt is a row quilt. So it's not so easy to enlarge a row quilt just by adding blocks or columns and rows. So in this case, what we have done, and let me just pop over here and show you in the book, we still have our box here showing you that yes, we can enlarge it, but we also have a link. Whenever you purchase the book, you will get the link so that you can go and get the full instructions. And the reason why we've done this is because it's a row quilt, we need to give you a little extra measurement so that that row continues to be seamless and really look good in your quilt, as well as the extra blocks that you'll need to make on your alternate. So it's really very simple, lots of extra diagrams there, lots of extra information because we're not just adding rows of blocks and columns of blocks to make it bigger we're actually increasing the size of the piece so it's stepped out fully there makes it super simple and of course still refer to your enlargement instructions here for the sizes and everything that you need there so it works really really well so first we have our lab size quilt really love it now we saw the actual quilt here on the table so you can see how gorgeous it is just the way it is okay so now let's look at the image of our twin size fascination and what's really great about this is we are using the exact same blocks on our block rows there so they're made exactly the same we're just adding a little bit of block here so instead of having just five blocks like in our lap we actually have six blocks so that's really great now let's talk about our rows here because these, of course, you know the width of fabric is only so wide and we're gonna have to make that bigger. So we actually are cutting a strip, making some extensions so that you're sewing them end to end and we're placing them appropriately so that they look really good in the quilt. Of course, we're gonna step through all those details and all of those measurements of how to do that in those enlargement instructions that you're gonna get. So it's actually very simple. We're just making our strips longer and it, it goes together so, so, so fast. So let's look at our Queen King now. This is so great, I just love it. Now the Queen King here is basically done the same. As you can see, the rows that have blocks, we have not enlarged the blocks, we've just added blocks so that we have more of them. And then on our strips, we've basically cut additional strips on them end to end for the appropriate size so that they're nice and long and you still have that great 
it's kind of a seamless look and flow on those strip sections. So it's gonna go together super fast for you. Really love the way this one turned out. Now don't forget that all of our enlargement instructions are available in each book and they are designated in very separate boxes like this. So be sure and check that out. Now if you have one of our individual patterns that do not have enlargement instructions, you can use these principles that we've gone over today by adding blocks, just rows and columns on your quilt to make it bigger. You can also increase the size of your border. Now we have a free goodie sheet at a border, which is very helpful in doing that. So you could just increase your lap size quilt by adding a little extra border. So that's one way to do it. Also great for those quilts of Valor quilts. Thanks so much for joining us. It's Fran Morgan.